Hi guys, welcome back. I was just getting used to this weather being nice and I think it's supposed to get cold again. Um I'm not really sure what this video is about. I mean I'm getting the cabin fever and spring coming in and trying to do stuff outside and I don't know, spring to me is like renewing things I don't know just the spring and flowers coming up so I wanted to show you a few things in the yard and just talk a little bit and, and uh, maybe show you a few things that I've had taped that I just kind of thrown together so hopefully if you're just a part of my channel you just enjoy being having a video so anyway <music> guys welcome back I'm outside yeah as cog kid would say I should be doing the dance I'm so happy I wanted to do some of these uh Easter colors. Of course, if I can't get it apart, I won't be doing it. I actually picked these up at Walmart. Just a little over a dollar, I think. Dollar twenty-four. There are two pies, so I just need to peel this other side off. You know what I thought about doing? My husband would say, "Why are you saving everything?" But why couldn't I save this piece of tissue? To do a to do a transfer on it. That'd be about the right size to run it through the printer. I don't know. All I can do is try, right? So I don't get blown away.
You just can't see a thing, can you? Sorry. Just going around the ball. Can you guys hear the robin? So people's peaceful. Wish we could have a radio on. Tape them, I'd be. I'd have a radio on. So we lucked out and didn't have any storms last night. Well, if we did, they weren't bad enough to wake me up. <laughs> didn't look like we had any. any amount of rain by just looking on the back porch.
still can't really see, can you? So that didn't work out. Looks like you get about three out of them. Oh. Oh three out of one napkin. Comes Jim. Hi. You making Easter eggs? Yeah, kind of. It rained mud on our car. Yes, it did. Did you hear him? He said it rained mud on our cars, and it did. All of our cars are nasty from the rain that came down last night. Well, it rained, but like that, I probably didn't hear anything. No storming. I'll have to ask him if it stormed. He'll probably laugh. I don't hear nothing hardly. If it gets dry, I'll put a coat around it. Yeah, you guys probably, some of you have already quit by now watching. I mean, probably thinking, who wants to sit in blue napkins on the outside of balls? Me, I guess. Relaxing. Not sure who wants to watch me, but... That's what Grandma's doing today. Enjoying the weather after cooking it inside, get some fresh air. Anybody else like to do that? I couldn't believe the weather when I came out. I was like, oh. And I was inside all day. I could have been enjoying this weather. My daffodils are coming up up there. Took some pictures.
Here they are. We'll let them dry. The mat stuck to it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'll show the finished. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I was just getting used to this weather being nice, and I think it's supposed to get cold again. Um, I'm not really sure what this video is about. I mean, I'm getting the cabin fever and spring coming in and trying to do stuff outside and I don't know spring to me is like renewing things I don't know just the spring and flowers coming up so I wanted to show you a few things in the yard and just talk a little bit and, and uh, maybe show you a few things that I've had tape that I just kind of thrown together so hopefully if you're just a part of my channel you just enjoy being having a video so anyway I'm gonna turn it around now see I've got to get out here and clean all this out so we can fill it I wanted to show you this little thing I don't know if I talked about it before <laughs> this poor little guy I came out oh probably a month ago and all that cold weather it's my fault I didn't pull this up and put it away. Of course, it got water in it. And it broke. This was... My mom bought this when we were out antiquing. Two different places. But they went together. And she's like, will you make me one of those little stakes for the yards? She had two things that she gave me. The other one I got hanging in the bathroom. So you'll probably hear a story about it one of these days. But, uh... I fixed it and got it all together and we went antiquing like it was somewhere around the August first of August that year 2015 and so she gave it to me I got it both of the little items put together and uh, you know that anyway she passed in August not long after that and so I just kept it. But I looked out here and this thing was just broke to pieces. Can you see that? I just now tried to glue it back together. <laughs> it's not going to look that good. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to glue it back together. Because it's just peace of mind knowing it is put back in place. So we'll see how many years <laughs> I can make it survive. But anyway... Every time I see it, I think of her. So, that's, uh, sorry. This over here is the same way. This was in her garden. She picked these up. Had them in her garden, so that's why they're in my garden. So, boy, it's kind of cool out here. My little windmill thing's going to town up there. So, I wanted to take you up. I always enjoy this part of the year because everything's coming up. Look, there's a little green. My irises are peeking out. I need to probably dig up some of these so they bloom. Got some real pretty white. See all the just little specks everywhere? That's all irises. I gotta clean this out. Maybe that'll be a chore this year. Give me something to do, right? had them all in here and as you can see I got sticker bushes coming up these were all white white ones need to clean my pond out see all the irises peeking their little heads but look over there no that deal I don't have very many of them poor little bent it's broke Hyacinth came up too. Here. 
Man, I took a picture of them two days ago and it didn't look like that. I've got to get up in here and clean it up. There's a, a walkway right through there. You can't see it. Looks like the deer have uh, ate my little bush. Had two of them. I just got one left now. Grab it down. Oh, sunflower. Yep, I need to clean up everything out here. Anyway, like I said, spring renewed. I need to come out here and trim all the trees that's growed up. Look at my poor little bridge. My little creek I dug. I got a pump. Looks like rocks made a mess. Look, tree limb down. Anyway, I gotta rip that out. If I did get my pump going, it probably wouldn't flow underneath my bridge. Maybe this will be the before video. Show how bad it looks. And I can fix it up. Get it all. Get it all renewed. I haven't worked up here in so long. I used to do photography a lot. All the seniors out here, and we take pictures. So I had just different places. So I'm picking up. I just haven't done it in years, so I still try to do flowers. But it needs some work. Definitely needs some work. I just want to show you those. Oh, I got a peony coming up around here to have this with a lot more flowers in it this year. I watered it and watered it last year and it never looky here. Can you see it? Right there. I have to watch it and I have to cover it up. If it does get cold. Anyway, I'm just dying to be outside. I got some irises I need to plant. I got, some, oh, sorry. I pulled these up last year when we did the tie wall to save them. They're still alive, I swear. I don't think you can kill irises. So, I need to plant them somewhere. But I got... I think I've decided on a clematis on this thing. I think Tracy, I, I sent her a mesa with Dig It, just Dig It Farms. She thinks a rose bush would overtake it because it's not very tall. I said about three foot, yeah, it's probably about three foot high. So I think I'm gonna, I bought a clematis, a purple one to put right there. And then I bought a white peony so I thought that would probably be kind of pretty if the white peony was in front of it and then it had purple growing up it what you guys think I don't know all right like I said this video wasn't a lot of anything maybe a lot of nothing but uh uh, anyway, hope y'all have a good, good March. This is the first of March. It's kind of scary. It's coming in like a lamb, which usually means it goes out like a lion. So that means the end of March, we could be having snow or ice. 
Who knows? Who knows? Thank you.